Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the Ice Front. We are, of course, playing as the Germans in this particular campaign, and we're trying to hold the town of Vodanyoye, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, against a massive Soviet attack over here from the northern part of the actual town. Now, we've also got some units over here by the barn uh, preparing to defend. I believe we've also got something looking like a tank or something resembling a tank, but I don't believe we have much armor in this actual army. Well, not tank armor. We certainly have a lot of SDKFCs, etc. Uh, but it looks like we do have uh, these vehicles here. I don't know why they're showing up as a tank. Could be because they have some sort of turret gun there on the front. Yeah, that's what it is. So guys, these guys can take out enemy tanks for us, but for the most part, we are defending with SDKFCs uh, and infantry units. Let's see how it goes. Like most of our battles, guys, we'll be back when the action begins. I'm pretty happy with the setup. Pretty much just waiting for the enemy. Um, I might send out some units to scout. But in general, I pretty much like this position and just want to hold it until the enemy arrives. Battle has commenced, folks, and I didn't expect it to come from this area. Um, it actually, I was hoping for it to come from the church and Volevnoye, but it looks like the enemy is trying to attack us from this hill. Uh, right now, you can see that our men are returning fire, but we don't have nearly as many men in this area as we do in the other. Uh, I'm starting to think, should we push these guys forward? Not so sure that's a good idea. Um, we'll have to kind of decide what to do here. I guess we could push these guys right there to the edge. I think that's what I'm going to do. We've already got some tracer rounds on the enemy, although we have to be careful. They've got some AT guns over there. We've already lost a vehicle, um, and that won't, be the, that won't be the last for sure. Especially not if the enemy's got some more guns out here. At this point, we just want to target them. That's all we want to do. Oh, they have spotted us. A machine gun's going to work. Foya! I don't see any sort of attack, honestly. I actually see just more of the enemy targeting us uh, with heavy weaponry. Uh, AT guns, uh, artillery, machine guns, etc. Mortars. As you can see right here, it looks like they've got some sort of uh, trench line. And, yeah, definitely mortars on this end. It's actually looking pretty cool. Um, now, we could try and assault this position, try to take it over, or we just continue firing. Um, I really am not sure. I think I'm going to decide here in a second, but I might actually end up assaulting that position. I'm starting to see some of their uh, actual infantry um, kind of appear over here. So they could be making a push, or this could, this could just be part of their trenches. And I think that's exactly what it is. This is just a continuation of their trench line over here. We'll go ahead... Make sure that we're spotting them. Uh, but at this point, I think the only way to take this area out is potentially to bring a vehicle over here. It looks like they've already hit our vehicle from there. What if we were to grab our units over here, moved uh, forward with a few units, and we're actually going to move into their, um, their town. So hopefully, their focus will have to shift, uh, because our focus is certainly shifting away from this area. Now, we'll definitely still keep some units here, uh, exchange fire with them, but it's just not looking good for us. Um, fighting them, you know, when they're in the trenches and we don't have that kind of cover. Pretty, we're not out in the open, we have some cover, but we don't have trenches, so that, that certainly changes things. Nice, I like seeing some explosions happening over there. I think I'm actually going to try to move my boys into the woods. So I'll take these guys, and I'm going to go ahead and fast move. Uh, just to get them out of the open over here. This way they'll get into the woods, and potentially even be able to provide some more uh, fire. So far, no contacts over here, which is surprising. Maybe they don't have many people in the town. Uh, perhaps their attack was entirely over there on the left side. I guess we'll find out. They're going right up this road. Not the greatest approach for our men, but we did ask for an all-out attack. Another thing I'm going to do is grab these guys and move them over here. Fast move once again. Um, just in an effort to eventually move our men over there and take out those trench positions. I don't want to do an all-out attack, though, because that's gonna we're going to lose a lot of men with that. I'd much rather hit these enemies from a distance. That's easier said than done. You can see our guys have already gotten to this tree line. 
I think that'll help them survive a little bit longer. But what I'm actually considering, a um, bit crazy here, but I'm actually considering an all-out attack on the hill. Um, we've got a lot of infantry. We can at least get closer. So I'm at least going to push our boys forward here with the fast move, uh, get a little closer to the trench position, and potentially take it out. Definitely see, we're definitely trying to hit it, but I don't know how effective that those hits are. These guns that the Soviets have. I think that's a ZIS-2 or ZIS-7. Ooh. Got some enemy contact. This could be... All right, so actually enemy contact in the area we're moving into. Uh, and there's more trenches, guys. My goodness. So the enemy has a ton of trenches here. We are approaching. We are not going to stop our attack now. We've begun. We have to keep on going. At least with these units. Full belts. Alarm. We'll stop Schreiber here. I know he's out in the open, but he's got to take some shots from here at least. Sort of keep the enemy um, under fire. Let's keep on moving. Like to see that. Looks like our infantry are definitely engaging. And it looks like most of what we're facing on the enemy side is also infantry. So that gives me a little bit of hope that we can break through. They don't have tanks, but then again, neither do we. Oh, Shaisa. We need to get some of those SDKFCs up. And actually, we have some dead Soviets over here. I don't know how, <laughs> how a Soviet got all over. Unless they, they could be one of ours. I don't think so, though. Oh, that's a Soviet for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right, some serious support has arrived. I might stop these guys very soon here. Oh, nice. They're already opening fire with that main gun, guys. That is beautiful. I can't believe that actually works on an SDKFC, but hey, it works. That's that's all that matters, right? So we'll just keep firing uh, that weapon over at the enemy. And hopefully we can pretty much wipe this area out, clear this area out. No, no. Pathfinding on this game is bad. Everybody's mentioned that, and I don't blame you. It's absolutely true. Got that beautiful gun there. All we want to do is use it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. We need some more shots to come out of that thing. Nice. Wow, look at the size of those explosions, guys. This is absolutely a trench killer. Look at that. Even if they're in the trench, they are in serious trouble. Those guys just got just totally pulverized. Look at that. Beautiful. That's what we want, guys. If we want to break through these trenches, we're going to have to be aggressive like this. So I'm going to keep on pushing. And again, this was initially supposed to be a defensive battle. But considering what the enemy is doing here, we had to attack. They weren't moving. They were firing at us from a distance. Uh, it wasn't going to go well for us. There we go. And it might still not go well for us. But so far, I like this attack. I like this approach. The other Reich. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, nasty explosions over there. Let's see how things are going at the town. I didn't even think to check over there. Uh, doesn't look like there's any contact at the town at all. That is weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much stay here. Um, take that location, of course. It's pretty much an easy location to take. And with these guys, these are the guys we moved into this actual wooded area a while back. Um, a bunch of heavy machine gun teams. I think I'm actually going to have them push forward over here. Uh, once they actually make an engage or, or meet the enemy, they can go ahead and engage. But for now, I'm going to send these guys over to assist in the attack on this position. In fact, right there, let's go. Yeah, sehr gut. Well, I actually just saw a guy flying up from that explosion. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. Somebody timestamped that. That was beautiful. 
All right, we've taken the key point. That's almost certainly going to be the town key point. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. Um, yeah, at this point, all-out attack on the hill. I think we've gotten through these initial trenches. There could still be more. And just so you guys get a look at how much of a death trap this area was, um, we absolutely knocked out the Soviet trench line here. Just continuous fire from those SDKFCs uh, with the, the massive artillery guns on them. Uh, and hopefully we can continue over here to Hill 171 um, and take that in the same way we just took those trenches. It wasn't without loss. If you guys take a look over here, uh, some of these guys are taking cover. Most of them actually are taking cover. But a few of them, one, two, three, are dead or wounded. Um, hit while they were trying to cross the snow here towards that enemy trench position. But you got to, you know, you got to lose a few men to gain a few victories. I think that's pretty standard procedure here in the military. In the Wehrmacht, I should say. The closer our boys get, obviously we're taking more shots. You can actually see some of the mortars coming in. We saw those mortars behind their trenches at the start of the battle. So if we can approach those and knock them out, we're going to help every other um, infantry unit here on the field. Beautiful. They're heavily under fire from our guns, guys. Problem is, most of these shots that we're firing are from mortars, um, and... Got to get a pretty lucky shot with a mortar to kill anybody in a trench or wound anybody in a trench. It's got to fall right in there. Even if it hits sort of the edge, it's it's not going to wound anybody. Oh, nice. All right, guys. Two key points taken there. And we'll go ahead and advance to the church. Now we actually have enemy units around us. We're that close uh, that some of them are quite close to our own infantry. Uh, I'm going to send some of our infantry over here to do a mop-up operation. But there's definitely still some Soviet troops. You can see one of them hiding over there. I don't think they're actively fighting us because one of them just got killed. Um, but they've kind of been trapped um, due to the speed of this advance. They've been trapped behind it. Look at that. We are lighting that hill up. That's exactly what we want, guys. Hill 171 will be ours, even if it means we need to demolish the damn thing just to get up there. Achtung, Achtung! Got the enemies right there. Look at that, guys. Nice. Didn't take long for our boys to wipe him out, but we want to be careful because there are definitely enemies in this area. Not just them taking fire, guys. That's for sure. And now that hill looks... It's almost its almost impossible to see the hill at this point. Uh, just because of all the gunpowder all over the place. Uh, in the sky, all over these men. This place would stink of gunpowder at this point. But we want to keep advancing. Fink is in an okay position, I think. He's got a nice gun. Once again, guys, the AT gun attached to the SDKFC. It's its not something I ever get used to, but if it works, it works. Problem is just how quickly you can lose such a valuable piece of equipment there. we go adjusting the actual gun i like that i want to see some shots though a 
Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. I mean, the enemy might end up just retreating, considering the amount of uh, firepower we're throwing at them. I'm kind of hoping that's what happens. Because at this point, look at all those tracer rounds. That's including the already the artillery um, that we're throwing at them. We're just throwing tracers. Uh, machine guns are... F machine gun rounds are flying all over the damn place. Most of them are still here in the trench, but you can see some of them have been hit. This guy right here is not coming back. What I really want, though, is a lucky hit on that AT gun. And it looks like we've gotten pretty close. You can see the crew has taken a beating, but they remain there, and they remain an absolute danger to any of our vehicles. Really nice view, by the way. I mean, those guys can spot anything approaching. All right, I think the, the vice grip is closing, guys. We are getting closer with all those STKFCs. If we could just converge here in the center, I think that's going to be a win. I'm actually even seeing some of the enemies sort of start to get out of the trench. Or maybe this is just their trench being revealed. But you can see some of them have even been set on fire uh, from the unbelievable firepower we're throwing down on this thing. Oh, I think that was a direct hit. I think that was a direct hit on the gun. Let's take a look, guys. That could have also been the gun firing. Oh, pretty close. Look at that, guys. One of the hits, it missed their gun, but it struck right in front of it, uh, killing a number of the Soviets. And it doesn't look like they've got many people manning the gun either way. Uh, most of these guys are pretty panicked. They're still fighting, but I don't think they'll be fighting for long. Should see some bullets deflecting off the front there. I like to see this guy taking some self-defense measures here, but I think what we'll do is we'll actually keep these guys right there. Anything you see, open up. Pretty straightforward. We might move up just a bit more so we can get a better view. Enemies right there, buddy. Don't want to move much closer. for him <clears throat> that's the pathfinding of the game it's not great it's, it's one of the biggest issues I have with this game pathfinding is awful um, we told him to wait and he advanced so sometimes when you tell him to wait that entire circle that you see there ex um, expanding they'll move in any area of that circle because once again you don't have direct control over units um, you've got like 90% control that could be the issue there so frustrating, though. All right, Fink, go. You have dilly-dallied long enough, Fink. Move forward. At this point, anybody and everybody in the zone, I want them on that hill. It's amazing how we just have a steady stream of fire from this SDKFC especially. This has got to be at least 1, 1. 1.5 kilometers distance, but he's still getting his shots off. That's what matters, right? It's actually probably slightly less than that. Oh, nice! Steady stream of fire there on the AT gun. That's what I like to see. And their trenches are a mess. Uh, we can definitely see the fallen men in their trench over here. Uh, some of the guys... Look at this! Yes, evacuating the trench! This could be a retreat, folks. And we got him. We got him. Raking fire there right in the back, guys. Taking them out. I mean, these guys can't move out of this trench without getting killed in seconds. Keep firing. Keep firing. They're starting to move that Zis uh, a little bit. The AT gun.
actually ordering a fast move there and the enemy is asking for a ceasefire um considering the fact that we've taken those objectives on the right those are the most important objectives uh i'm actually tempted to accept that ceasefire it's not like we're you know we're not exactly saving any men uh moving up this position this is a dangerous position it's dangerous to get up this hill um but you know we're probably gonna have to get up it eventually i might stick it through a little longer just to see if I can knock out any more enemy infantry units or gun positions. But I think both sides are tired from the fighting. We've lost a lot of infantry just advancing, and they've lost a tremendous amount of infantry defending. We'll have to see what the final tally is. But I think it will be a victory for our side. I could be wrong on that. Let's take a look over here. Yeah, we can actually grab these guys and attack over here. Why not? Continue the attack. Yeah, we got, I was worried about that. We've got a few guys right in front of us. Uh, just a few infantry units. But I don't like them being so close. Oh my goodness, one of our machine gunners is right next to them. Come on, man. Recover, recover. Oh, lost that, lost that fellow there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and accept that ceasefire. Again, I've taken the positions I want to. Uh, the hill is a tough position, and if we could just wait one more battle, we've got control of this area and control of this area. We just launched one massive attack at that hill. But just with the amount of losses here, I'm going to let the enemy uh, hold that position. We've taken the town. That's what matters. We'll let them hold the hill position for now. All right, it's a draw. I'll take it. Look at that. The losses were unbelievable. 173, uh, 72 killed on our side, 101 heavily wounded. 26 killed on the enemy side, 102 heavily wounded. Um, I absolutely think that it was the right decision to accept that ceasefire. We took a tremendous amount of enemy land territory, and we also destroyed a bunch of their guns. I think that's the only reason this was a draw and not a loss, because our manpower loss was incredible uh, for such a battle. That being said, guys... Once again, you must shed blood to take positions. We've done that. If you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to smash that like button. Open fire on that like button, I should say. And drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Again, we want as many people as we can to subscribe to this strategy channel to bring more people into the strategy niche. Thanks again, guys. This is Agrippa Maxenius, signing out.